uh, within 10 years, uh, mo most of the fiat money in the world today is going to be worthless. Volcano bonds, as you state, it's uh, Bitcoin backed bonds. So it's a 10 year bond. Half the money is going to go into Bitcoin and that Bitcoin has a five year lockup. The other half goes into infrastructure. It pays a six and a half percent coupon. And uh, after five years, investors start getting back portion of their Bitcoin. So there's a lot of potential upside there. And uh, it's initially a billion dollar offer, although it looks like it's going to be oversubscribed pretty substantially. And uh, the, the stage is set for for up to 20 billion uh, of these bonds, uh, which would be fantastic for El Salvador. The bonds uh, will be uh, ready to go uh, in February. Uh, there's already uh, geothermal facilities up and running right now. So they've got, they've got right. the geothermal energy happening and they'll be building they'll be building that out. So there's plenty of room to keep building that out. And uh, it's a proven model. They've got proof of concept and um, there's a big market for these bonds. You're saying oversubscribed at the moment? Well, yeah, that, that's my understanding. You know, I've been working diligently myself in trying to help raise money for these bonds. As you know, I'm a former stockbroker on Wall Street. I spent my entire professional career selling securities. So I know uh, all about stocks and bonds and how to sell them. And um, there's indications of interest for over a billion dollars in these bonds. So. Uh, we, we think that the offer is going to go really, really well. So the market around the world of the $100 trillion, Michelle, in investable assets around the world, there's a real need to get exposure to Bitcoin. As the biggest money managers in the world, like Bill Miller, uh, Ray Dalio, Paul Tudor Jones, they're all now pointing to Bitcoin as the place to be as inflation rages. Yeah. Uh, Paul Tudor Jones calling Bitcoin the fastest horse in the race. So they want to get Bitcoin exposure here. They're getting six and a half percent while they wait for uh, the, the typical cycles that the price is known for. Uh, and so they get the best of both worlds. You know, you're getting nice yield, current dividend, uh, and you get the upside as well. So that's what makes this bond so attractive. And that's why people are uh, lining up to uh, buy it. Uh, I, within 10 years, uh, mo most of the fiat money in the world today is going to be worthless because we're at a point now where the uh, printing of these of, of fiat by the major central banks, whether it's the Fed, the ECB, Bank of England, uh, Bank of Japan, has gone into hyperbolic uh, kind of mania, and that's that's all. That's all going to Venezuela. In other words, Venezuela is the, uh, the 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 role model for countries like the United States and others who are just hyperbolically printing uh, absolutely out of control. Uh, so it, Bitcoin in those terms is uh, l literally has an infinite price target. But you're trying to tell me that you believe that in 10 years time, we will see the end of fiat currency in a decade's time? Well, I'd rather be uh, a couple of years too early than one day too late. What we know, uh, Michelle, is that over 300 years, not a single fiat money has escaped insolvency and losing either 100% or 99% of its value. That's the track record fiat money has for the past 300 years. None have escaped going to zero. So why, why would you bet that suddenly that 300 year trend is going to somehow change course? Uh, and I think over the next 10 years, as you see uh, these economies, these major economies like the US and China, um, who are carrying debt loads 300% to GDP, uh, suddenly hit, hit the, 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 the breakers and they, they're going to just try to print their way out of all this. And so the, we're talking about a, a fiat money apocalypse. You know, the, re the reason why Bitcoin is already in the tens of thousand dollars per coin is that um, all of the major fiat money in the world is right now in a hyperinflationary collapse against Bitcoin. That's already happening right now. The dollar, the yen, yuan, that they're all in a hyperinflationary collapse against Bitcoin right now. And that trend is going to continue. Uh, and yet we haven't seen that reflected so far in the price of Bitcoin. Yes. Considering well, how do you think you got to Bitcoin at uh, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 a coin? It's well, I mean, the, the, the recent money, decline. The fiat money is collapsing in, in, in a hyperinflationary collapse. 
the purchasing power of the fiat money in versus Bitcoin is collapsing. Um, and that's what that's why the price of Bitcoin is where it's at today. It's discounting the fact that paper money is already collapsing right now versus Bitcoin. And when a country like El Salvador makes Bitcoin legal tender, it means now you've got a country that's got the ability to uh, give its citizens unconfiscatable wealth, uncensorable wealth, uh, and divorce itself from the fiat money world, the IMF and these other institutions that have been uh, really uh, draconian in their um, in, in their um, application of, of, of loan um, extractions and everything that comes with it. And right. um, so this is the beginning of a new era and that's going to spread. So when you have the domino effect and you have this region like Argentina is now be going down the path of hyper Bitcoinization, all this, these countries in Africa are becoming hyper Bitcoinized. So when that hyper Bitcoinization wave starts to go global, uh, that puts enormous pressure on the dollar. On the geopolitical front, you've now got Russia, China, Iran, they're dumping the dollar, uh, yeah. right? So there's nobody supporting the dollar on those in, in those countries. So the dollar's at a genuine risk of, of collapsing outright here. And uh, I and 10 years is a long time in, in geopolitical terms. And when you've got something like Bitcoin, who's been appreciating at over 100% a year for more than 11 years, it's been the best performing asset in 11 years and that's set to continue for the next 10 20 years do you want to know one thing about crypto i made over three thousand percent in profit in a few weeks fact is the traditional financial system the traditional money system makes you poor not rich if you want to earn five hundred thousand one million dollar you have to wait until you're 50 60 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where do you start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them. And if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange. And one of the biggest are, for example, Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well-established exchanges. But, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon, so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.